A month into the new school year and already major concerns for health and safety in Richmond schools. School board members we spoke to will meet tomorrow to discuss how buildings aren't making the grade. 8 News reporter Victoria Lucas joining us at the Digital Center with these possible solutions. Victoria. Yeah, Heather, some of those concerns from parents and teachers are mold outbreaks and outdated AC units. The school board members I spoke with told me some students started their school year sweating it out in hot school buildings. They plan to tackle these issues tomorrow night. We need to get our kids and our teachers out of antiquated, broken down facilities that often include mold, not functioning AC. Richmond Public School Board member Jonathan Young sounding the alarm on multiple safety issues the Richmond Public School community continues to face. And some of his colleagues echo his concerns. Here's the city's school board member of the 6th District, Dr. Shonda harris Muhammad. Every school in our division, and let me be clear, needs some maintenance love. These two board members and their colleagues plan to continue the last board meeting's conversation where parents and teachers voiced major concerns over mold outbreaks. We are all suffering from upper respiratory infections, sore throats, stuffy noses, brain fog, and itchy, watery eyes. Ahead of Monday night's meeting, what do school leaders suggest? I would hope that the school board would talk about a timeline, a selection of schools, and what school needs to be in the top five or top 10. You know, we need to hear from our facilities and maintenance team about what the needs are. Young suggests smaller schools take advantage of the unused space at larger schools. We have a brand new Henry, R Henry Marsh Elementary School with 300 vacant seats. We could literally take the entire Woodville Elementary, all 200 students there, and enroll them at Henry Marsh Elementary in a brand new building. He adds staffing retention continues to be a major issue. We lose some of our teachers because of the condition of our facilities. Harris Muhammad says those two issues go hand in hand. Your teaching and learning directly impacts the culture and climate in the building and vice versa. Board members will meet at 6 p.m. at Huguenot High School for Monday night's board meeting. Some other topics they'll discuss include new construction options for Woodville Elementary School and updates on the care and safety plan. Live in the Digital Center, Victoria Lucas, 8 News.